What a day. What a day, you know? You'd think you'd have a sunny day someday, but no, it's pissing down. At least it gives me a day off anyway. Well, I reckon it gives me a day off. Let's get in and unload this, eh? What we got last night. Yeah! Let's hope that is a worker, the old washer. It may be, like I said, a $400 item. Um, I am going to weigh because we are pretty low on the tyres. I did not notice that much. Um, we're going to weigh all of these brake drums. Uh, not the brake pads, but that does add the weight to it. So I, I've got nothing to actually put them in or anything like that. I may be able to do it if I do it a certain way, but I don't think I will worry about them. Um, it goes as a different price. They go in as pressing steel for me. So we'll get all the ladder off, um, really inspect the ladder, that sort of thing. We'll get it all gloved up. We'll get the stuff out of the front first. How's that? We've got this box to get off and that sort of thing. Going to be very interesting to see how much is actually on there. The front loader washing machine, they're about mm, 100 kilos anyway. So we'll get all of our stuff out of here, our hat. Our jugs, haven't shown June this stuff yet, so I'm yet to get it all out. I'll sit it on the June table over here, her side of the table, sit it up here. They're nice jugs though, Coca-Cola jugs. That's not one, that's the incense burner that they put wax and a candle in. So yeah, we don't smoke so we don't need it. Yeah, nice Coca-Cola jugs. Anyway, she can have a gander at those when she gets down here. If she does come down, she usually doesn't when it's wet. Stainless steel flasks, hell yeah. They'll go straight as scrap metal when we sort them out. We've got to take the plastic out of the tops. Woo, there's a crane there. Crane top. Well, actually, it's the scales. Crane scales. Sit them there. We don't hang on to those stainless steel flasks. Now, this thing here, I didn't have a decent look at it, the chip maker. So we'll have a look now on the June table. Have a gander at it. Oh, it's busted. Hey, nothing like a, a bolt putting in it. That'll work. Put a bolt in it. Hell yeah. Oh, I could fix that. Not a problem. Put a bolt in. Home and hose. Who can't do that? One bolt. I've got, probably got a bolt in the bucket over there. There's little small bolts. Uh, the old toothpaste in the in the box still. A couple of chockies. I didn't leave many left. And an Oreo bar. I haven't got a bin down here yet. That there. What else we got in here? Oh, this thing. This thing. Oh, there's the chockies. I lost them. <laughs> I'm searching around on my home for the chocolates. Only because they fell out of the box. This thing here, what I was explaining last night, is that the top piece here, we'll get it out. Get it out of the box. The top piece here, all that's wrong is that the seals come off out of here, so it should be easily put back in. I have, tr I did try after I finished off the video last night and I just could not get it in, so I thought, no, nah, I'm getting home. I was hungry. So I thought, yeah, I'll try and fix it later. June might even have a go at it. You never know. So we'll just leave it on the June table for her to have a look at in the box. And it does work. It does work. We did test that in the car. It's got a 12-volt SIG plug, plug on it, so I plugged it into the car. Now these clothes, we've got a big, massive washing machine in the laundry over here another one i picked up that's a 16 kilo bottom two kilo top that's a massive one um, we chuck them in there before we take them to to um donate them so i'll just put them in there for now oh, it feels like there's something else in the bottom there's something else in the bottom oh we'll have a look at that later let's sit it down here oh there is something in there something breakable we'll have a look now Where's that tub? Over there. Grab that tub. That looks good enough. They're going to get washed anyway. We'll bear a tub. 
Good clothes baskets they are. Turn the light on. Put that over there. Alrighty, what else is down the bottom? I'll have a look. Jacket over there. Oh, brum brum. What is it, a pencil sharpener? No, it's one of those pullback ones. Oh yeah, okay. I'll take the car. Brum brum. Oh, another stainless steel flask. That one too. Yep. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Brum, brum, another car, car. That's a Transformers one, that one. Shoe. Little hats. More hats. Hats galore. Jacket. More hats. More hats. What else is down the bottom? Another jacket. Oh, another flask. I said there was stuff down here, even the sunnies are down here. Ooh, yeah. Not my style, but anyway. We can donate it all. Well, what the hell is Woody doing in here? We'll put Woody up here. More clothes. More, more sunnies. This looks like a brand new bloody hat. Stick it still on. No, oh, in the wash it's going. That's a used one. We'll have to sort that out. More sunnies, sunnies. Up there. Another part of, no, well, there's no mate. Dummy, pacifier. Yeah, that can go down with the shoes. Lamb. Good old lamby. Whatever that was. Oh, another set of stainless steel one. No, plastic. Oh, well. <coughs> nice looking hoodie. Adidas. Sock, baby sock. Make you wonder who put these aside like that. That there and there. All right, that's the clothes. We'll put this stuff in here. Oh, there's the clothes. That there, I'll leave the toys up top. Over here. <sighs> they mittens or something. Must be. Right. That's the shed laundry, that one. Oh, I better shut my door. Right, that can go over here. On the June table. <coughs> Damn this weather. Making me nose itchy. Ah. <sighs> All right, we'll get this box off. Can't remember what's in it. Oh dear, it's got some weight in it. Oh no, oh no. Go to the dune table again. Look at this chair out of the road. What else have we got in here? I think there was wire. Oh yes. Bit of cast alloy, not cast alloy, extruded alloy, cans. Uh, sit it over here, we've got to get those bolts out. They don't look too bad of bolts, those. Get a strip of a wire. Add that to our tally. Hope everyone enjoyed last week's video of stripping wire. Where's that blue bin? I'll put it in that. Oh, we'll go the black one. It's got to be sorted. Alright, what else we got here? Another piece of wire. Another one there. And we'll leave the rest in there. I'm more interested to see how much it's all weighs over there. Oh, that's an LED light. I did not know that. Alright, what else have we got? That can go on the bench. I'm just after the wire out of here at the moment. And up there. Oh, come here.
couple of strands extra there. Alright, let's start. Sort of that as I go. It's good that I've got nothing there to strip apart or anything like that. I've only got to cut the stainless steel piece off the dishwasher there. Uh, we're finished with that box. We'll get the cans and that out of there very soon. Once we get the brake drums off. Right, now the ladder. The good old ladder. This is a good find. I'll tell you what I was telling, telling June about it last night. She said, no, you've got the wrong end. That's not the head, that's this. Oh, but I proved her a bit wrong there. Right, now, I'm just going to sit it there. Oh, here's the extra part that needs straightening, right there. I knew there was another part. It's this foot here and there, but that's easily straightened. Uh, easy fix. Put the rope back on and away you go. That was the part I was trying to find. I couldn't see it because it was up on the vehicle. But there's nothing wrong with the bottom part there at all. So that's a good extendable ladder. Probably pay nearly 200 bucks for one of those in working order. So it's a win for me. So there's 200 up, straight out. Um, these lights down the side, we'll get all this stuff off. This one's definitely a no-go. It's all blown out. Oh, get off. We'll put that in the scrap pile. The ladder's not going to be scrapped out. We're going, I'm going to try and fix that. That's our scrap pile. We've still got a bit of brass there to do. This one here. Might plug it in. See if it works. We'll put it down here first. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll put it down here first. We'll drag a cord over. There's one over here. That should work. Should reach. Hopefully. Look at that. Could have cords so they can reach. She's a no-go. Definite no-go. Leave the cord there. Always test things as I get them home. Oh, come on. Go this one first. He's in the road. And these, they're a fantastic light if you can, you know, it's got a double ender. So you can plug it in either way. So you can link them up. Um, you don't need to get an electrician in to wire them up. They're already done. Let's see if it's going to work. Oh, what a bummer. Oh, the light might be out. Might have slipped out. It looks like it inside. So I'll have a look at that and investigate that. Because there are a heap of those in storage. We'll just sit this up here. It's definitely teeming down. That over there, grab this other light. Screw to light. <laughs> I got anchored. Big anchor there. Get up there. And the good thing is, if they don't work, they, they got cast alloy on them. She don't work. That would have been a good one. Would have been a damn good one, that one. Anyway, I'm not going to try and see if they work. Put that cord back over there. What are we up to now? Getting the washer off. The mat, it's going in with white ute. I'm not worried about the, the pink paint. Sit that over here. Got to get this unloaded. I've got to go and deliver a washing machine anyway. So that can go straight in the scrap bin out here in the wet. Teaming down. Now this thing here, plug it in when we get off. We'll put it down here, over here anyway, if it don't work. Doesn't matter, not losing nothing. Some, sometimes they're only just scrap anyway. But uh, these top loads, they're, they're not worth much. I'm lucky to get probably 150 bucks for this. Maybe, maybe 170. Even though this is a 9.5. Come on, off you get. Off you come, thank you. Coming off crooked. Oh, there we go, leveled out. We'll go and grab that cord again. We'll put, put that one on the spin cycle, see what it does. Do it straight away. Get off the cord, son. Nothing in the gut. Oh, we can't do nothing with that yet. It's got a suspension rod off over that far side. 
So I'll have to look at that, then test it later. We'll have to do that that way. Got to take all your top off and then put the suspension rod back on. So we'll just leave that there. Um, cans and bottles. In there. Put them in that box. Up there. That'll do. Oh, rain's gone. Blue sky out there. Grab the box. This one. Like you wouldn't think all this little extra weight adds up. But you're probably looking. Hmm. I reckon we've got, with the load that we've had, probably 300 kilos. But, you know, these could be more. We don't know. This is why I want to unload it for you all. And, uh, well, I'd have to unload it anyway. Uh, but I want to weigh it, see what we're going to weigh. Because I'm very interested on how much they are because I've already got a whole heap sitting over there in an IBC. Oh, there's another bolt. Right, that can go on my bench. Oh, come around here. Up to there. Right, gloves are still clean. Sweet, we'll get into this washer. Spin him around so she's not going face first. I like sticking to these bloody tub liner. Oh, here we go. I might grab a, um, yeah, that's what I'll do with all the brake drums. I'll grab a drum, a plastic one from out here, a 205 litre plastic drum, and we can weigh that that way. That'd be the go. We'll weigh the drum first so we can rat tear it out. Meaning, it just gives it a scale out first, yeah. Do all your business, what you got to do. Empty your fluids out. This will go up and around to that. Go into that for me, thank you. So will that go into that. I wonder if it's just got a water problem. Because there's one missing. Unless it doesn't have that. I won't know until I take the top off. Come here, mate. I need you. Uh, go over a bit. Now, this is a bit difficult. I don't usually have it this far away. Um, I don't want that bent. I don't want to kink it in, say, get that over there, because they cost a bit. 30, 30 bucks for one of those hoses. You get to know what your prices are when you're fixing machines, I tell you. Come on, down you come. I just about need one of those lifts that go on the back of a vehicle. Right, we're gonna put this right up on the concrete. Get it up here. Wheel it around, get it into position. That way we can test it straight away. Up we go! Hang on to the cord so it doesn't go flop flop. Oh, I don't need to hang on to the cord really. There we go, she's down. Down and out for the count. Get rid of the trolley. Don't think we'll need that. We're going to use the old backhoe to weigh all of that. So there'll be a bit of noise, a bit of terrible noise of a smoky old hurdy gurdy over there. Plug that into that. Might move this over so we don't dim. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? She's already gone. That level. Get that bit of steel underneath that foot. That'll look. Oh, hang on. There's something inside. Pause ya. You gonna unlock the door? Unlock the door for me. Come on. Here we go. Oh, it's the hose. It's the hose I put in there. Right, we want to hear if there's anything wrong with the bearings. Pumps, all that sort of thing. Um, in saying that, let's open the pump up. I've never got fingernails. Never. Where's that screwdriver I've seen on the June table? 
over here. Mm -hmm. We'll open that filter up. Mm -hmm. Bubble, bubble, coil and trouble. Pump is going well. Empty that out. It doesn't hurt to run them like this. Doesn't hurt them at all. That into there. It feels a bit loose. Mm, might not be. While she's spinning, the drum is anyway. The pump seems to be working. Might be a water problem. Might be. Let's check it out before I get into these truck rooms. Where's all the tools gone? We've had a day off from doing anything down here. I've been working around here. So, not a day off from work, but a day off from doing stuff down here. Hey, Daddy, what you doing, boy? Meow. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's those bloody talk bits. I hate those talk bits. You go to use a screwdriver set, like your screw bit, and you've got to run for the talk bits. These bugger are things. Rightio, so we need, we need this a one. Well, I can never find a bloody thing, you know. Always a mystery. There it is, there's that one. Take that. Now I need the adapter, which we chuck tools around everywhere, which would be one on that. That'll do me. What you doing, boy? Where you going? Meow. One of our cats. He's the shed cat. Sit that there. And oh, I reckon it'll be that one there. Take that off there. We're not going to need the gloves on there. That over there, that over there. Take the top off while we're going. We won't be touching no wires though. Oh, it's smaller. You're seeing it as I see it. It just seems strange that they've put this one out and spins and bearings are okay. It might have a hole, oh pardon me, might have a hole in one of the hoses underneath, we don't know. That there, no she's only a single, single pot thing. I just don't know. I honestly don't know. I did find one. Ooh, is that a crack in that? That may be a crack. No, it's not a crack. That's the way it's moulded. Well, I just don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll leave the top off it. We can't repair the bearings if we had wanted to because she's not one that you can pull apart anyway. So she's a scrap out job if it was bearings. But I can't hear anything wrong with bearings, so that's good. So we'll just leave that top off. I'll get right into it a bit later on. Um, when I've got a bit of time up my sleeve, but at the moment the weather looks to be fining up. Silly bloody weather. Anyway, we'll put the screws back in here. So we don't lose them like always. General rule of thumb, you take a screw out, put it straight back. Anyway, we'll get into these heavy monsters. Let's hope it doesn't run into that one. <coughs> uh, we better get a drum from over there so we can put all the brake pads in. We'll do all of those as well, like I said. Grab one of these. We should be able to lift one of those. Which one looks good enough? That's got a hole in it, that'll do. Where's that hole? They use these for the for rubbish around here. So even if I've got to do one way, fill this up and weigh it, you know, might be the way, the way to do it. Might sit that there. I should be able to wheel it across, hopefully. I've got the barrier anyway, wheel it around. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll do it that way. We may have to unload it out of there, into there anyway. That'd be the better way, just use one. We'll get it close enough, that's the better way of doing it. Now, we've got a little bit of spring left now. Not much, but that's all in. Oh no, there's a bit of spring in the tire. Bit of spring in the spring. So with the wash machine, yeah, they only, they're only allowed 350 kilos on the back of here. So we might have been up around the 400 kilos. Now that goes over into that. Down there, we're weighing all of that stuff. They can go over there, that doesn't, wouldn't weigh much. Oh, we've got all of our pots and pans down here as well. Oh dear. We won't weigh that stuff. We just guess it. About two, three kilos. So with all the stuff on the table, um, box up there, probably looking at about 10 kilos, maybe less. So we're just going to have 10 kilos. We'll put it at eight. How's that? Oh, that does need to be closer. That's too far away at the moment. I can always bring that thing in. All right. Alfoil there and there. That goes way over there. Got it in that. That over there. I tried pulling these apart and they're bloody hard. It takes me too long. They're cast aluminium, but yeah, it's not worth it. Better off just putting it down as a shred pile or pressing steel if you if you get pressing steel. My scrapyard says it's pressing steel. I'll put it through. Is that so? Oh dear, it's going to be a heavy drum. Glass one there. Put that over on the June table. It's half full already. And it's stuck in that one. That can go that way. Right, this come out of there so I can get that one off. Now how I'm going to do these is I'm going to line them up in a row and I've got a couple of straps there. I've weighed the straps without the soft shackle. Um, it, the straps themselves weigh 1.5 kilos. The soft, soft shackle doesn't weigh a goddamn thing. It's neck, like I'm weighing in 0.5 of a kilo, I could have went grams and stuff like that I suppose. But um, there's no real point. We're not trying to get an exact amount. That landed good. Well, that's spun out okay. Definitely more testing needed for that. Uh, this one can come down now. Don't run away. Don't you dare. Thank you. Yeah, stay down there. into there. Weight's coming off quickly. I can feel it starting to spring more. Alright, grab this one. Don't want to avalanche of cans. Definitely got a lot of weight in these. I'm going to be shocked, I reckon. I reckon I will be. Go okay, that way, it'll roll uphill. Dong! Now's a good time if you've come this far. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. There's plenty more content coming. Plenty more adventures. 
never know what I might get myself into. Or get myself up to. Never know, I might get some more brake drums. Come back here, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a boy, that's a boy, you're a good boy. <laughs> Talking to rubbish, eh? Always talks back. It doesn't give you cheek, though. All right, I'll get this big one off the top here. Start from up here. Turn him around and let him roll uphill like that last one. That worked well. Oh, it's just about full down here. Well, we've got a couple left. Yeah, we should be able to weigh those in a minute. Work out how we're going to do that. It's a full 205 litre drum. Grab these springs. I reckon probably over 100 kilos. Oh. More down here. Come on. Oh, where are you? There we are. Plus the ladder. Oh, the ladder would be only about 10 kilos. Should say on it actually. Should say on it, any more steel there? Doesn't look to be, can't see any other than what we've got here. Um, but they go as in size, it's a different pricing. I think that's about 35 cents or 30 cents a kilo for that stuff. All right, let's get this down here. God damn, that's heavier than I expected. It's popping out the bum. Oh dear. Definitely popping out the bum. Oh yeah, how am I going to do that? I'll get back to you and I'll sort this one out. A few moments later. Not on there yet. I did weigh. Now I've got a ratchet strap. A two inch, two and a half inch ratchet strap. I'll grab the flasher over here. She's flashing off. Why? I don't know what to do. There we go. Um, I'll use the old fox to tell you she's a chuff, 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 chuff. <laughs> uh, we will use the soft shackle. It weighed nothing. Where do I put that? Over here. We'll go right around that. That part there. That way it's got something to hang off. It's not going to slip. Go that way. Turn this on so it's not shaky, shaky, shaky. Gonna lift it up higher yet. So we'll go and lift it up a bit higher. We can tilt the bucket anyway if we need to lift it any higher. We on zero, yeah. Sit that roughly around about where centre. There. Hopefully that strap don't break. <laughs> we might just do that. Lift it straight up. We've got to watch the shed. Should be fine, should be fine. Oh, that strap's not right. Crooked, very crooked. We've got to bring this around. Come around this way. I'm gonna undo it. Yep, I done it up pretty tight. I wasn't gonna make it slip. I might move this one here. Said it was tight. Yeah, that should be level. Right, 
that all onto that. Safety first, don't stand underneath it. This thing's got no brakes. So what I do for a brake is I put the put foot down at the back. That's how I park it here. Well, that's the easiest way. We're on zero, or it says one kilo, because of the strap being one kilo. It's actually a kilo, yeah, a half, a half a kilo or something like that, because the actual strap around it was a kilo and a half. Up we go. I've got to watch the shed roof. Oh, we might tilt that down. I don't like that. Don't tell me it's going to do that to me. It is. It's going to do that to me. Batteries must be going flat. I'll have to change the batteries. Goes to that and then it bloody has a ba battery attack. There we go, quick five. I've got to be quick. That's all it is. It doesn't like the ch 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 There we go. Definite batteries. I've got to find some batteries. Be right back. 20 minutes later. Right, battery's all changed, got it all working, she's digging up and down. Fuck, I'll even show you that it zeroes out. Zeroes out, it wasn't doing that before. Here we go, half a kilo for the strip. Alright, up we go, up we go. Take it steady going up, don't want to jive, it, jig it too hard. That's actually a bit long. This is going to shock me, I reckon. That off the ground. I reckon we're off the ground. Yeah, we're off the ground. Holy dooly Toledo's. 212 kilos. Minus two kilos for the straps and stuff. Like the ratchet strap that's around and the strap going over. Damn. So she's 210 kilos. Poor little jumbuck. Damn. What are these going to weigh? Anyway, we'll put it down. Oh, she's got a runaway. <laughs> she got a runaway. We might just use the tilt on this. Put that to there. Oh, we're going to go right down. That's right. Right. Uh, we'll turn the old jigger off. So I'm not screaming at you all the time. You got a runaway. Been dragging it for a while. All right, we'll get that off there. We'll leave it up there so we're not hitting our head, but we can turn it off to save the battery power. Off it goes, sweet as. Undo all of this, get this out of the road, and we'll start getting these into line so we can weigh those. How about we drag, just drag this off here first. So there's 200 kilos going in there straight away. 210. So that's going to be a heavy IBC. This is why I bring in big loads, big heavy loads for the scrapyard. I always wonder why. Bringing in all the heavy stuff. Just unload it straight out of here instead of trying to pull it out, tip it up into that. If I stack it in there, it's a lot easier. I try to jam it in as much as I can. At least we know it's over a 200 kilo IBC already. They got cameras now that they they got them up so up on the buildings where they can see down on and that sort of thing. See. Can't tarp nothing down, they go crook on you. I've never tarped it down anyway. And we've got left, we've got a few, haven't we? Oh dear. Right. Right into there, that fell down more. That one. This one's full. It will be by the time we've finished.
pack it as hard as I can. Careful of me solar panel there. Alright, tip it out. When in doubt, tip it out. <laughs> oh, we go. Do there, son. Don't break it. Still gonna finish repairing it. Gotta put a new backing on it. Put that one on, then I lost the back cap for it, so I've got to put another one on. Oh, go over there, get over there. Not there, nothing there. Doesn't take long to fill one of these up. Not when you got heavy stuff. Right, tip it out more. Oh yeah. There. Over there. That and that and that's it. That's that. Right. We need that strap. Yeah, I don't know whether that one works. I don't know whether that one works because it's out of line. I've got to um, take the top off it and actually have a look at the suspension rod. Come on, turn, sucker. Oh, you're not going to turn because of that. Right, now I've got to work out how I'm going to do this. Put the gloves back on. Not wearing no gloves with these things. Dirty, grotty things. So we've got to still unload them. Um, I'll do what I said. Try and put them in a line so I can just feed the strap through. As long as they don't run away on me. I'll try and use this hose. Bolt there. Um, I was putting them in the box actually, the cans. If that's what you're going for. Uh, you're probably better off using. Um, did I use it or did I not use it? The wheelbarrow thing, oh. Or did I put it up the side there? Oh yeah, I'd used the wheelbarrow, no, the wheelbarrow tub. It's in the laundry. I put clothes in it. Put that there. Move that right out of the road. Might be best to start feeding. Oh, we've got a long stick, long hooky stick. I don't know where I'm going to sit them because the other one's full. Grab our long hooky stick. That one there. Yeah, that'll do. Probably join two together, maybe, maybe not, because of the height. See how we go, because I know they'll droop a fair bit. I've got 
no other way of weighing them except for individually. I don't want to fancy doing that. Might do two rows. What have we got? Five? See if we can do. We should be able to do. No, oh, we can't do two rows because it won't hook. They won't hook up. Oh, I've got another soft shackle though. Might put the two soft shackles together. Go uphill. him over. They can't go far. Right, so that's all the cans we got. Besides what's in the box over there. Oh, don't hit the washer. Now I've got to get that bit of aluminium off that. And go over there. out get her onto the party of it all right that can go over there and we'll get this all sorted that inside there we might be best to I don't know how I'm going to do this tell you the truth I do not know because I can't stack them the way they were but though that's basically the better way of doing it, but I'm not lifting up here. So, just wondering how I can do this. How many is there? Six, and we've got 12. I wonder, I might have to look for another strap. And we'll strap them all up. Might be the go. We'll go this way with that one. Yeah, two rows of six. I'll get all this set up and I'll get back to you. A few moments later. Alright, another five minutes later, I'll cut it all sorted out, loop them all into one and lift the two straps through, hopefully through here, through that part there. That should lift it. Gotta start the old hurdy gurdy over here. Ah, push that in, avoid the wheel. Nose it down. Nose that down. Get it closer to it. That through there. We turned on. No, we better turn it on. Get it all zeroed out before we hook her up. Not the place to be sitting either. No, we'll sit that into there. It's not going to want to tilt over one way if I've got that there because it can only go to there and to that new, brand new soft shackle. So I'm loving these soft, soft shackles. I tell you what, they're the bee's knees. They're better than D's. <laughs> hey, I made a rhyme. <laughs> anyway. Up we go. Already got 210 on the scales. Over 100. Hey, that's working well. Ooh, tires are going down. Over 200. Holy dirly. Holy dirly. Far out. We had, here you go, we already had in that drum, the brake drums, 210 kilos. You gotta take two kilos off that for the straps. Oh no, actually it's, yeah, well, yeah, you 
Let's just say two kilos for the straps. That's 500, 500, 6, 700, oh, 73. That's, yeah, you might say 600, uh, 700. I'm, I'm the bubble. I'm grub, grub smacked. <laughs> what is that? Plus 200. So that's, that's five, six, seven, seven, seventy. Poor little John Mark. Holy dooly. <laughs> Besides the washing machine, they're another hundred kilos or more. So I almost had a ton on that. Holy shit. <laughs> Poor little John Mark. Does the job. <laughs> wow. Damn. Uh, we're sagging, the hydraulics are sagging. There's too much weight there. <laughs> They're on the ground. <laughs> I'll lift it back up to confirm it again. Yeah, 553 and a half. So yeah, well, two, it's going down to the two. So, damn, we almost had, we would have had a ton on by the time you had that steel on the bench, all the stuff that's on the table. The Me, the ladder. <laughs> yeah. Not me. We had over a ton on that. Damn. But anyway, we better let that down. I'll turn it off to let it down. I've got to avoid all this oily here stuff here. Getting it on my shirt anyway. Um, you can hear that creaking. She's not the best, but it does the job for what we need to use it for. <laughs> um, I've got nowhere to put them. Where the hell am I going? I might have to just, well... See, there's half a ton. So what's in that? You're probably looking at a ton and a half in the other one Maybe. that's over here. Maybe two, because they're goddamn heavy, them things. The one that's over here, you know, you're looking probably two ton. So there's a load on its own, just those. Because I was thinking, here we go, I'm just talking to June. Um, I was thinking taking those and the HMS. One load. HMS, the gas bottle's out here that I blow a hole in. I had to, um, they class these gas bottles as HMS heavy melting steel because they're fairly thick and I've been adding little bits and pieces in here. So that's another load. Um, that's to the scrapyard. <laughs> but anyway, if you've come this far, poor old little jumbuck, I reckon we've got more than the bloody ton and a half in this thing. Cripes. Anyway, we'll fix the ladder up. But yeah, if, if you come this far, I'd hate to see what a washing machine does. Why, what does it say? I don't know, I've never checked. I'm just checking, you got me, everyone's got me curious now. They don't say. I'd have to look up the specs on the old web. But anyway, all in all, we made it home safe and sound. Can unload the rest of this stuff. I just didn't believe it would be that much. Poor little jumbuck. Never mind. If you've come this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. So till next time everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping. As you can see, we've got not haven't got much here to scrap out. Might do a motor uh, pull apart over here, get the copper out, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!